We just know that right now, given the fact that there is a suggestion that there are a lot of online, very specific, apparently very specific threats against very specific agents uh, at the FBI and whatnot, it would it would be great for everybody to tamp down the the rhetoric against the FBI because the FBI simply was doing what the DOJ asked them to do. The attorney general is the boss of the guy at the FBI, of all the people at the FBI. So, you know, with all of these threats going around, it, it would ultimately be great if the former president, who has always been a great supporter of law enforcement, had posed with a thousand police departments coast to coast. It would be great if he called for an end to the violent rhetoric against federal law enforcement, and in particular, the FBI that was just doing their job. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and maybe it's January the 6th all over again, but this new controversy for Trump has his followers all stirred up and fuming. They're bitter from that loss on January the 6th, no doubt, but invigorated knowing they made it that far. In the most frightening way possible, this might be a new era for right-wing domestic terrorism. But yeah, as Trey Gowdy pointed out last night, uh, for you to look at this situation and think that Democrats and Republicans have been treated the same over the last few years, you'd have to be looking at a different situation. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Greg leg Gutfeld, irons for, for Greg Navarro. Greg Gutfeld talked about that, too. He said, you know, it's interesting that the Democrats or progressives are now worried about protecting law enforcement when they weren't, right. you know, years ago during the raids. But no one is for the violence of FBI agents. Of course, we're all on high alert. We're not going to let these guys win, but we need to be wary now. Trump has little militias worked up, cohorts of white supremacist and Christian nationalist groups all ready to take up arms for their corrupted savior. Should former President Trump know the effect of either his silence or uh, his efforts to say maybe the FBI, you know, he's alleging the FBI maybe planted evidence or he's at least laying the groundwork for that possibility. Should he know the effect that those actions on his part can have when it comes to potential violence against the men and women in the FBI? Brianna, my uh, observations on this is that he is making those statements because he knows the effect they will have. Mm. These people are anti-American. They don't want an exclusive government that works for the people. They want a dictator in power who lets them get away with so-called vigilante justice, or how I would call it, targeted violence and hate crimes. These people are fundamentally rotten to the core, living in a reality where they're blameless victims, well within their rights to harm everyone else. He had a distinctive experience on January 6th. Um, that crowd that came and unleashed a violent attack on the Capitol did so, according to many of them who've testified, because they thought that's what he asked them to do. He knows that that community of very aggrieved, politically extreme people are listening to everything he says and doesn't say, and they react in ways that they think he wants them to act. So I think that's why he's making the statements he is now. Their most recent target is the FBI itself. I mean, these guys were screaming back to blue just a couple years back. Now that Trump is getting rightfully investigated, law enforcement is their enemy again. Again, these people are anti-American. They want this country burned to the ground and they're already sending threats. It was intentional on Trump's part to make sure those FBI names were leaked. He wanted those people and their families to get harmed or even killed from mob violence he's inciting. That's what he did during January the 6th, and that's what he's trying to do again. He loves all his violent supporters, and he had ally with the NRA so that they could all have guns for the day he tells them to burn this country to the ground. This man is a danger to our country. He's a danger to democracy, a friend to dictators across the world. We cannot tolerate men like him. We cannot let them go unchecked and unpunished. That sends a message to the rest of the world that America tolerates dictators and fascists, that we will not fight for democracy, not even in our own country. We have to support the FBI in this critical time. Not only are they investigating Trump, them and all the other intelligence agencies in America are intensely focused on making sure that no right-wing extremism occurs at this time. We have to make sure that Trump is not successful at inciting another mob and bringing forth a wave of terror. This man cannot be allowed to win. We will not let him. Now that we know what to expect from this man, let's put our faith in the FBI and make sure we take him down once and for all. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.